Hi there. I want to talk today about sizing a minimum size wire and a maximum size overcurrent for a electrical load using the Canadian Electrical Code. So I'm going to say that we have a 13 amp load. I'm going to say that it is continuous. Uh, it's on 75 degree terminated equipment, uh, run with RW90, copper, and I'm going to say not more than three conductors in a conduit, um, not over 30 degree ambient temperature, and I'm also going to say that it is connected to an 80% rated equipment. So with this information, I intend to size the minimum wire and the maximum OC that would be permitted for this installation. So because this is a continuous load, we are going to be referencing section 8 circuit loading, uh, 8104 specifically. Uh, because we're using 80% rated equipment, we are going to be using 8104 sub rule 6. Now, 8104 sub rule 6 says where you're using 80% rated equipment, your load cannot exceed 80% the rating of the circuit breaker. Now, there's also another rule we are going to visit today. The other rule we are going to visit is 14104 sub rule 2. And that tells us what size overcurrents we are allowed to put on what size wires. So as we go through this process, uh, first of all, 8104 sub rule 6 says our load cannot exceed 80% the rating of the breaker, which means we have a load. We are going to need to upsize the breaker to allow for all that additional heat. When we upsize the breaker, we're also going to need to upsize the wire because the breaker is there to protect the wire. The wire is too small. The breaker is no longer protecting that wire. So the process is going to be I'm going to take my load, divide it by 0 0.8. Once I do that, I'm going to go to table 2 in this case and size my wire. After that, I'm going to go to table 13 and size my overcurrent. Now that's the general process. We're going to actually see 14104 sub rule 2 in effect today. But how it goes is something like this. I'm going to take my 13 amps. I'm going to divide it by 0 0.8. 8104 sub rule 6 says I cannot exceed 80% the rating of the breaker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do this, which is going to give me the required opacity of my conductor, 16.25 amps. Now, because I'm upsizing my conductor, it's going to give me that bigger breaker, and we'll also work it backwards and make sure that it all works out. 16.25 uh, amps. I take that to table 2. This will be my minimum opacity of my conductor. Uh, I'm going to use the 75-degree column. I'm using 75-degree column because that's what all my temperature equipment is. Uh, it gives me a number 14, which is said is good for 20 amps. Now, just because it's good for 20 amps doesn't always mean we get to put a 20 amp overcurrent on it. Right next to 14, number 14 on table 2, there's the little symbol that looks like this, a double S, a squiggle. And it says to C14104 sub rule 2. So we make our way, 14104 sub rule 2 says... If you have a number 14 wire, the maximum OC that you can have on that wire is a 15 amp OC. It says if you have a number 12, the biggest OC you can have is a 20 amp OC. And if you have a number 10, the biggest OC you can have would be a 30 amp overcurrent. Those are the maximum allowable overcurrents as permitted by code. So we have to keep those in mind whenever we're on table two. 14, 12, and 10, they have this little S squiggle. So just keep that in mind in the back of your head. If we were to put a 15 amp breaker on this number 14, which is what we are permitted to do by code. So we take our 14 gauge, put on a 15 amp breaker. If we did that, 16.25 exceeds that 15 amp breaker. So that is not allowed. Or 13 amps exceeds 80% the rating of the breaker. So that's not allowed which means in this case, we actually need a 20 amp breaker because 20 amps would be bigger than the 16.25. And if we got 80% of that 20 amp breaker would be 16 amps, which is big enough for my load. So in this case, because I need to upsize that breaker, I'm also upsizing my wire. 
which means I have to upsize this to a number 12 gauge wire, which is allowing me to use a 20 amp OC. If I double check, I go 20 amps times 80% or 0 0.8, gives me 16 amps. I compare that to my load. My load does not exceed 80% the rating of my breaker. I'm good to go. Also, my 20 amp OC is adequately protecting my number 12 based on that rule, 14104 sub rule 2. So kind of two little tricks with this one. We did a continuous loading calculation like we normally would, only at the very end we had the double squiggles. We have to pay attention to 14104 sub rule 2. Um, so two different steps there, two different processes. Uh, I do hope this helped. Remember, in the end, we end up with that number 12, and we end up with that 20 amp OC. Uh, pretty common situation you would end up with in the field. Uh, I really do hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the other videos.